All right, we're back. <laughs> uh, Operation Bagration. Welcome back, Commander. Here we are as the Soviets in another Gates of Hell skirmish mission, and we are going to smash our way through enemy lines with relentless firepower. <laughs> we'll be um, playing the Offensive Doctrine as part of the Offensive Doctrine skirmish series. Don't you know? And uh, Which means armor heavy. Um, I somehow decided that one of the skirmishes I played, and I tried a regular, and I tried defensive, and I tried uh, offensive, uh, like my sense of humour, and uh, I decided that I had some really quick results with the tanks, just running tanks. I found it to be really quick instead of waiting for you know cannons to be wheeled halfway across the map. The tanks would just storm up there and do it all. And um, so that's why I chose offensive. I chose to the whole system offensive in an effort to make shorter playthrough videos. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, with that in mind, I will do things like if I'm um, just waiting for a tank to repair, I'll edit it and skip the repair process. If I'm just waiting for a cannon to march all the way up to the top of the map, I'll edit it and skip till the end of the march, if you see what I mean. I will try and minimise the video as much as I can while still showing every move I make. Uh, that's the intention, anyway. We'll see how it goes. Right, welcome back. Let's get in. So, I sent my first lot of troops up. I like it when I start close to the... Um, Allied base and, and their anti-aircraft cannon can be provoked to shoot straight into enemy lines, but this map seems somewhat bigger. And uh, I've sent an anti-infantry tank and a I've bought an anti-infantry tank and a tank destroyer. And I sent them up first in the hope that. As for most of these games, I can capture the first two points with the anti-infantry tank alone. It doesn't, you know, there's no cannons. Any anti-tank is just like an anti-tank rifle and really can't cope with it. So that's my intention, is to capture the first two with that alone. However, that said, uh, once bitten twice shy, there is occasionally a cannon there. And this Su-100, Su-85, whichever it is, is perfectly capable of sniping that. I've got the. I've brought my two squads of infantry and my machine gun jeep with me, and they can help. I don't think I, after spending the money on the Sioux, I didn't have enough money to buy a sniper or an officer to open my line of sight. So normally, I like to start with an, inf an infantry tank and an officer, or an infantry tank and a sniper. Falling out of love with the officer. So this little village is actually quite tricky. Uh, it's not tricky in terms of what I'm facing. Uh, just bod standard infantry look. But it's tricky in getting all the angles to actually kill them all and secure it. Uh, as I don't want to charge my anti-infantry tank high up in the range of the second line. Or, you know, if there's an anti-tank here, there might be in that next village up on the left. There might be on that line behind the, the trench on the right behind the mini map. There might be up there where he's shooting now. So I don't really want to push him in too far to just kind of ring around this thing. And I also don't want to get him in too close so he gets hand grenaded. That would be bad. So it's slightly trickier than it looks. While ultimately still being pretty easy, I will smash them. It's got a lovely long line of sight, the um, tank hunter. Look at that. Ah, that's the anti infantry tank. So most of that fire is coming from the trench. And they've captured it. Oh, hey, so there you go. Yeah, the anti infantry tank basically did that all on his own, didn't need anyone else. We can now spawn cannons of some description in the support menu. 
apparently. Although this being offensive doctrine, that's not always the case. It's sometimes the case that I don't get a cannon. I might get um, a new type of tank instead, or nothing at all, perhaps. Now I'm playing this in native 4K and without the um, what's it called? Oh, without the without the wiggle to give me larger icons. And the reason is the mini map then and the icons cover up all my screen. I can't see anything. So instead, I just can't read anything. <laughs> I just can't. I don't know what units I'm selecting half the time, especially if they're not ones I'm used to, like the like a new one. It's just infantry, medic. Uh, medic, tank man, sniper, officer, infantry, you know, if it's not really simple and in the same place every time, I don't know what I'm spawning, it's a bit pot luck, then in the hard way, hang on a second, all right, let's see where we are, so next trench is on the left, that was, I mean, that was a nice quick capture, I'm not going to go up one side, just going to get this, Hopefully we'll be able to uh, deal with this just as easily. Although it is, let's face it, time for some anti-tank to start blowing us up. Uh, with that in mind, oh, that's why he's not shooting everything, because he's the wrong tank. Duh. So yeah, it didn't get me any new tank options. There's probably a new cannon in there. I just don't want to be wheeling cannons around forever. Or fiddling with them, getting them on the back of lorries and just no. So I move these guys over. Uh, I might leave some in defensive ones in the very rear trench so that they have to winkle me out rather than, you know, if they want to capture it, they really have to work for it. Is there will be oh look there's some kind of gun up there. There will be reinforcements of the German variety turning up to try and recapture these points. Oh look 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 tank. Uh, which version of the uh, Panzer III is that? Oz F, Oz H, Oz. It's got the 50 mm It hasn't got the biggest gun they do. Uh, but it's a kind of an early. When that tank arrives on the battlefield, it's the tank killer. It's got the biggest gun and probably some damn good armour compared to uh, whatever else it's up against. Compared to anything exposed, except anything short of a T-34. And that probably is a response to T-34, I'd have thought. They used them out in the desert. Uh, if you want to tell me which one it is, I'd love I, In my uh, quest for more triv, World War II triv, yeah, please drop me a comment if you know the name of that particular German tank. I think Panzer III Oz AUS F AUF, something like that. G, one of those, something to similar. Or HR. Not quite top of the tech tree. pretty good then definitely a tank killer definitely something I don't want to uh, engage with my anti-infantry tank now, I brought these guys in behind the cover of these uh, wood of this wood yeah so that he can't doesn't seem to attack I'm trying to hand grenade him by staying behind the wood uh, and I've just hand grenaded the wood and myself <laughs> yes it's a talent All right, run away and hide boys well at the least he should be heading straight into the 85. Yeah, I'm starting to hit him. It's a proper tank hunter. He's conveniently, just waiting for him. But that gun's still dangerous. Oh hey, let's go and capturable. Bonus. 
They seem, they seem alive, they seem okay. So let's capture that trench and spawn some crewmen to rebuild that tank. So, yeah, nice swift capture of the first two points. Great. Which is what I was looking for. Support the other. I think I can spawn three of these tank hunting SU 85s or I think SU 100s, whichever they are. I think they're 85s. But they look the same to me. I guess it's just the gun that's different. So while waiting for a tank crew to show up, the basic infantry can start repairing. Now I will want to defend both sides of the map. I will want to have a line to stop, as I said, to stop reinforcements just coming down and recapturing everything I captured. It's not really a big issue and I don't think whatever gets past me, certainly at this phase of the game, is going to be able to capture my start point and make me lose. But nonetheless, you know, coming back and recapturing it would be a pain in the bum. Let's not do it. We're on offensive doctrine, so I am planning to be super tank heavy. That's the way I want to play this. I don't want to batter them down with artillery. I can't. I have mixed results with artillery. I'm my first sniper. Unusual for me to leave it so late. I have mixed results with artillery. I mean, sometimes it, it just works, and the artillery just fires on whatever red dots it can find on the mini map and hammers them and kills them, and it's all great. And sometimes they just don't even fire at all. It's in range, the cannon's pointing at them, it's loaded, it's manned, and it just doesn't bother. And, uh, I. Phew. Yeah, so very mixed results with the artillery. Sometimes it's very satisfactory, and really, you know, and I can see that it's giving them a pounding and really doing me some favours. A lot of times I'm just thinking, why have I wasted all that time and effort? I've put that expensive item, I've waited ages to get the resources, I've deployed it, waited ages for it to crawl up to the halfway up the map to get in range. I've spent even more resources on getting a ammo truck for it, and it's just not even firing, and what have I done? So, you know, a bit touch and go. But I will be playing some uh, more defensive doctrines, which hopefully are artillery friendly. Hard to say, really, without playing through every mission with every um, doctrine and, and enough times to remember what the units are. I don't actually know what I'm getting in advance. I'm just kind of click and pray. Oh, there's a mortar firing at us. That's, uh, is that my sniper? It's just my basic imagery. Oh, and there's an anti-aircraft gun firing us. Now the anti-aircraft gun should be easy meat for this uh, tank destroyer. And you should just be able to go up there and perhaps even pop it from out of range, or if not, just soak up the anti-aircraft rounds as he shoots it in the face. Although he has got the wrong type of ammunition out. He has got anti-tank ammunition. But the um, mortar is a big threat to the infantry. I mean, this should just. It's quite a big one. That's bigger anti aircraft than usual. It's more than I was expecting. I don't know what barrel size that is, but maybe four and a half, something like that. It's a big fella. It's not as. It could hurt us. But not like that. Right, so I guess the mortar's in that mortar pit, which means we won't really be able to tank it. Oh, what the hell? That's... was that a mortar or was that a cannon? Oh, it was a tank, it was a... oh, I can't pull up something like a puma. He's got to reload armor piercing before he can shoot it. I don't know, have they remanned the gun? I thought I'd blown that up. I thought it was finished. It seems to be finished now. Another cannon of some description behind it. I don't like having that anti infantry. Oh, God. 
cannon like firing at me. The anti infantry guys just charged. What were you doing? What were you thinking of? Must have selected the wrong guy. Clicked with the wrong guy. Now he's got his bum facing me. Two cannons. He's, oh, he's almost dead. Come on, mate. You can do it. Get out of there. Wiggle. That's it. Dodge and weave. You should really bail out, I think. As brave as you are. You seem to be quite a good eyeball of the trench line. And the one behind it. So I think there's a machine gun there he's shooting at. I'm very concerned about the Puma and the cannon on the trench line to the left of it. Guys are ready to man that tank. That'll be well needed firepower. I'm hoping he'll start dealing with things. He's been a bit slow, mainly because I moved the wrong tank forward. I tried to move him forward to engage the Puma, not the not the wiggly little machine gun tank. I think there's two mortars there. I think there's a mortar on each. Yeah. Look at where the emanations are coming from on the minimap. There's one on the trench we're facing, and there's another one in the side trench. We must defeat both. Yes, victory. I feel it coming. Machine gun. Let's unman it again for them. That must that'll help them out. And he's not really getting any line of sight on the mortar, is he? None of the heads are sticking up. Not some here shot in the other side this time. Anti aircraft gun. He's so battered that I'm gonna lose him. I really should have brought him back and repaired him. Puma. X Puma, I don't think it survived that one. Anti aircraft gun, and then there's another Puma. But hopefully, my anti infantry tank, tank it, whatever it is, is going to get away from, but it doesn't. I mean, they look knackered, don't they? You can't move, they better bail out. I suppose. No, I'll bail out and run. Yeah, that was a bit, um, a bit wasteful, but we're not, we're, hot, we're not out of the game. That's fixable. I don't think it got him, I think it just got sandbags. Maybe that got him. Some more tank crew. This is my second wave of second combo of tank killer and infantry killer. That water is still irritating. So if I bring him hard up the ledge, up the left edge, he should be able to work on that little trench line up there with the mortar and the cannon in it. I'm 
that's not a big threat to armor, but then just like sitting there and getting bombed. Particularly pleasant. You're gonna have to do something about that. Oh, kill the puma. Presumably if I retreat him out of mortar range, the mortar will just start picking on the infantry, it'd be even worse. That's, uh, here we go. Mind the cow. Don't upset the cow. You won't get any milk. Uncurdled milk, please. So that cannon's going to, if I insist on sending the infantry tank first, the cannon's going to shoot at it first. My anti-tank, my tank destroyer is set to the wrong ammunition type, I notice. So he'll be rubbish at getting the first shot. On the cannon, don't expect it to be up here. I think I played this pretty late at night. I think I was pretty tired when I played this. I'm not spotting all these schoolboy errors. Honest, that's my excuse. Puma's dead, that's good news. Where's the cannon? Should be part on top of it. Frankly, point blank, a 20mm tank with its 20mm gun's got a good chance of taking the cannon down. Oh, shoot him. Not, not without his turret. Damn it. He's doomed. I've wasted another one. Lost another two crew. And this guy just isn't using the right ammunition. I'm just going to work it out in time. However, between the two, they must be able to take that cannon out and storm the infantry tent, storm the mortar pits. All your good gear. So I'm going to use these two pistol wielding dudes, these two cowboys, to go and get the mortar pit. Let's get in there, boys. Shoot them. Gun them down. All right. Mortar pit captured by tank crew. Cost me a tank crew. Hero, the massive hero of the. Uh, oh, they're both dead. Oh no. I mean, she's going to recruit it. I thought I'd owned it. Oh, I thought I'd smash that one. Turns out it smashed me. I sent some of the goons up there. Then we'll have our own, very own mortar, and that looks like an anti-aircraft gun we can fix up, machine gun we can nick, we can fix our anti-tank tanks, our anti-infantry tanks, sorry.
Maybe we can turn his mortar onto his other mortar. And his cannon. Let's find out. working, he's using it. If I aim at that cannon, maybe and it misses, it might hit the mortar anyway. Hey, liking that one. Uh, I bought a cannon. After all I said about Dragging cannons all the way up the map, how dull it is compared to having a nice nifty swifty tank. I bought one anyway. One of the things I like to do is uh, in defensive is to put a formation, is to put my tank behind a cannon. Anti tank rounds have a longer range than high explosive rounds. When, um, so a cannon versus a tank of the same caliber. The cannon's firing anti-tank and the tank's firing high explosive anti-cannon, which means the tank has to close into the range of the artillery of the anti-tank gun before it can get a shot off. So essentially your cannon here gets first shot. It, it outranges a tank of the same gun caliber. Um, and if you back that up with, so if you put that in front of your tank line, that's a double whammy. Not only is it um, having to close into range of the cannon to shoot it and targeting it first, but it's bringing itself into range of your uh, anti-tank tank. So yeah, that is the optimum line. The optimum defensive or offensive line has a cannon in front of the tank. Doesn't have the tank out in the front just because it's got all the armor. And this is because of the type of ammunition that the enemy will use to shoot at it. Mainly control that one to get through the tank traps. Look at this nice looking tank. What's that fella? T3485? So he's got a bigger gun as a tank destroyer. Get him in there. Let's practice using it. All right. Now just the mortar and the infantry. Head up with a chat. Oh, something she at him. somehow get line of sight into the mortar bit. advantage. Should have better armor and a better gun. Same goes for this fella. That's why he doesn't seem very interested in it. Something's hitting him. Cannon. Oh no. He's been tracked too. Let's get uh, the T 34 to knock out that cannon. 
That's the more dangerous target right now. Yeah, take the cannon. That's it. Him. Yeah, it's one of those artillery tanks. It's not really two cannons. It's not really. It's not high velocity. It's not that scary. Uh, what the hell are we shooting at it? Let's do it. Stop repairing our tanks. I mean, the tank destroyer's taking a pounding. Right, the cannon's done. Is the tank done as well? Okay, well, seems pacified. Nice and easy. Let's get some guys to fix that up. I'd like to capture the other point on the right and get some, get another for a new tank. Let's see how we get on. See which way the wind blows. Must be another Puma. My tank crew, get to work. Don't wait to be told what to do. You know what to do. Go and crew tanks. Crew more and crew guns and mortars and repair tanks and be tank guys. Alright, so that's a truck full of infantry about to try and steal one of my spawns and there's not much there to defend it. It should be enough, but not a lot. Stuggy? It's a dangerous vehicle. for a tank. I'll prioritize the other tank. Okay, that's a fairly successful defense. Goes in the guys in the first village on the right can hold against the infantry. I think they probably can. Uh, you know what, fix that up. Perhaps when that gets fixed up, we'll send it back to defend the uh, village that's being infantry zerged. Good in tank versus tank fight. There's another tank of some description, small armor up the left flank. Guns are pointing at it. So just going by the mini map and they got it. Wouldn't hurt to get that flak thing going boys, give that a fix if you can. Wouldn't hurt to fix up that puma either. Well, first things first, that big flak cannon is pretty hefty.
Thank you. Get to the puma. Get to the chopper. Oh yeah, now get to the flamethrower. <laughs> that could be fun. for a super speedy repair job. <laughs> Fast as you can, lads. Oh, I can't fix that Pima. It's the star, what's this fella? Go, like it. Seems to want to point to the left. Maybe there's something over there I've missed. Yeah, get that mortar up, right, up and running. And you pay. As far as possible, I'm going to crew everything with tank crew because they're the cheapest. Send him over there. Oh, look at that. I wonder if that's got a flamethrower on it. Come on, lads, shoot it. What's wrong with you? Drunk? Well, I take it all back. Great shooting. Machine gun nest has found some people with the machine gun. Oh, he's in trouble. Some casualties down there. Like right, two guys left holding that town. Alright, that's all niftily repaired. Still the tank, I'll take it. Try and loot the uh, no, it's empty. Loot the Kuma, there's nothing in it. Got some pretty big guns firing at that tank. I expect to win this fight. It doesn't seem to even be in range to shoot back. Oh, it's done. I'm liking the way this is going so far, you know. Except for this village on the right, it's getting pounded too much. I'm not pretty pleased about that. At some point I've got to get around to sending the uh, anti-tank tanks to go and help defend it. i to muscle up that village or I'll lose it. Big T-34. Top tier T-34. As good as it gets. I'd love a T-34. There's a, uh, you know, there's places where you go and you pay, I don't know how many pounds to, 
drive a tank. If they had a T-34, I'd be interested. There's a, there's a nice story. There's one of these riots going on in um, ex-Soviet land. I don't know where. Maybe Ukraine or Russia or... There's a street riot. And uh, <clears throat> one of the protesters is a war. Is a, is a veteran. He used to drive T-34s in the war. So he, when he walks past the T-34 monument, you know, the T-34 that's just out in the town square as as a decoration a monument of days gone by he jumps in and starts it he can start a T-34 that's been sitting idle for 70 years <laughs> and drive it around and he's like driving it through the uh, you know he's driving it around and they arrest him obviously they find him and arrest him and and he says, yeah, I just, you know, I just, I thought I was just taking the tank out of harm's way so the, so the rioters couldn't do anything with it. But yeah, he not only knows how to drive it, he knows how to cold start a T-34. Well, presumably that's a flat battery. Right. So yeah, I want to go to drive tank day and learn to start a T-34. I want to have that knowledge. What's that flamethrower tank already? Damn it. Could have had some fun with that. Just gone round and burnt every bush. Because <laughs> that'd be fun. It would. We'd do it for hours. Alright, so my tank line here is facing heavy pressure really there's a constant turg of tanks coming up at them I'd like to support it I'd like to get more guns on the line there's something to be said for just having a buttload of tanks in a line so that every tank that comes onto it gets shot by like you know five or ten tanks at the same time but that really works I mean, it gives the tank, gives the crew tank shock, so they don't start, so they don't fire back, even if it doesn't kill them. Uh, and generally, it does kill them. And that, in that way, you don't even have to have, you know, the outclass thing. You don't have to be shooting little tanks with your massive tiger. You can just overwhelm them with firepower. So I think that's what we should aim for: bringing all these tanks up into gun range into a gun line. I'm shooting. Hang on, I'll try and hit it next time. This T-34 does not want to shoot the tank right in front of it. Come on. It's there. You're looking at it. Thank you. This gun barrel's gone. one that has lost his gun. Ah. Which ones are those two things alive or both of them? The Hetzer or the Panzer three? Quite 
fancy capturing that next. I don't think it'll be too difficult. So yeah, bring that up here to the gun line, lads. And you, Mr. Cannon, you'll be useful up there. I hope. Not much of you stand there. I'm not convinced that the anti infantry tank will be useful anywhere anymore. This fella should be good, shouldn't he? Big old top range T34 like that. Maybe with a cold start in 50 years' time. Aircraft guns up there at the front of there. Should be easily killable for a nice decent tanks like I've got. as well or I'm reading I know this one in front of that. Come on, just kill it. machine gun it take it alive no, no, mind. so what I want to do here is um, stay masked behind these buildings over the other side of that bridge there's loads of stuff there's like a town to be captured with gun emplacements um, and it's right up at the top of the map so it's top tier stuff so I'll have heavy guns tanks and the zergs will come from that direction so I'd like to just mask behind this uh, remand it Kill them. There you go, crushed it. Yeah, I'd like to stay masked behind these buildings and just trap door spider and just pop out and kill things uh, if they need to. I'll let them come on and shoot them inside as they try and drive by, that sort of thing. I don't want to I don't want to face to face slug it out with anything up there. I hate shooting people in the face. I like to shoot them in the back. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Face me! Fight me! No, mate. Ninja you. Stab you in the back while you're asleep. another tank, another one of those T-34s I hope. That's nice to build up a more effective gun line. And that's going to be a key to it. Over <coughs> overwhelming firepower, just domination through massively too many guns. As long as I don't lose many tanks, then I'll just, you know, my firepower will steadily increase. It's 
There's quite a few capsule tanks out there in no man's land. I don't know uh, how easy they will be to capture, but I'll send some crewmen out there sooner or later to salvage what I can salvage. I haven't really had a good wrecker. I don't know what's on the other side of that, on the other side of the river. Look, there's some kind of river running through. I haven't got a good feel of what's on the other side of it, other than the next capture points. Artillery, airstrikes, and finish the game. No trapdoor spider number two. You can hide behind the buildings on this side. I just lost. I did lose it. Oh no, it's one of his that he lost. Well, that's a better option. Well, if I put that cannon inside the red line and maybe you will that will help us capture something. Don't want to leave these. This mind you, there's nothing's going to get past there anymore. I can pretty much bring the defenses up. Albeit they're just anti-infantry tanks and not much use. So, um, yeah, I want to clean out the bit on the right somehow. I want to get some, get whatever infantry is lurking in there murdered. And then I want to get some kind of uh, recce force, some kind of reconnaissance troops, some kind of uh, infantry perhaps, to sneak up the left-hand side and open up the next part of the map. To be honest, I'd probably prefer to have um, airstrikes over artillery. I just can't be bothered with it. Artillery's too much effort. Airstrike, click on it, goes over there, blows up something big and gives you all the intelligence. You know, lights um, opens up the whole map, the fog of war on the entire map and you can see what you're up against and where all the static emplacements are. Uh, really worth doing. Well, they seem to be in charge of my side of the map. Well, I, I have slowed down, haven't I? This is uh, not exactly stalled, but I've definitely slowed down. So that should be some imagery. We'll also need to get some ignition trucks up there. Uh, they've been fighting for quite a while now um, to run out of ammo, the tanks. You know, there's a constant supply of enemies. So I want these infantry to sniff around here and dig out whatever's stalling my capture. I can't see anything, but there must be there. must be the buildings or something. to get some ammunition to my gun line. Some capture dudes, some repair dudes to nick some of those tanks. <coughs> and some infiltration troops to wreak on the next line of enemy defences. That's the plan. find anything? Oh, you're going to fix that up? Then you'll have a puma. <coughs> I mean, won't you be proud? Who makes puma? If Tiger designs, uh, Tiger's designed by Porsche, 
It's just designed by Skoda. It's a Skoda. Who makes Puma? I think Panther's a Porsche as well. I don't think any British tanks are Rolls Royces. <laughs> no, they're from bus companies and stuff like that. The Americans are from tractor companies, aren't they? They're all basically tractors. British tanks are basically buses. American ta uh, German tanks, Porsches, don't you know? I think Russian tanks are probably tractors too, from tractor plants. But yeah, German tanks, Porsches, Czech tanks, Skodas. Mmm, Skodas. Mmm. <laughs> My mate <laughs> bought his wife a new car, bought his wife an uh, electric car, brand new, uh, or almost new second hand, but I think brand new. Looked at all of them, looked at the Ford, looked at the Jaguar. You know, he spent a good years or two building up to buying this, you know, and looking all through the cars and trying to get the deals and the tax relief. And, you know, it was quite. Didn't just, whoa, slap out over many thousands of pounds. A brand new electric car is carelessly. That took some time. And, uh. Yeah, look at this Jaguar, look at this Ford. Because it's for his wife. Bought the Skoda. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm talking about. He never bought that for himself. Ever. And never, ever, ever. Oh, it's a good car. Skodas these days are not Skodas that they used to be, are they? They're not. Uh, what do they used to call them? The Skip. Or park Skoda or Skip or something, anyway, but yeah, no, they're decent cars these days. They're basically high tech Volkswagen, highly reliable, but they didn't used to be. And uh, they used to be sort of super cheap and um, very fall apart -y overnight, <laughs> but ult ultimately repairable. You know, whatever broke on them, you could replace or fix with a bit of chewing gum and some string, but they weren't luxury motors or even quality motors, they were the ones to avoid. But today, they're the kind of car you buy your wife. <laughs> uh, when they first um, upgraded their uh, Skodas, when they got, I think, basically a Volkswagen bought them, and they sent them all their old Volkswagen machine tools, and Skoda became a Volkswagen in all but name and my uncle bought one he was like the first adopter um, from when Skoda's had the reputation for just you know lol worthy reputation the butt of all car jokes when they first went out he was brave man he went for that he always did have bad tasting cars but yeah bravely recognizing it was now you know basically a Volkswagen in all but brand name uh, he bought one instantly and loved him Good for him, smart boy. But um, no style points. That's, you don't want a Skoda, you want a Ferrari. Or, uh, so, you know, anyway, don't want a Skoda. It's not. Doesn't got any style points, Skoda. You don't win style points, Skoda at all. No. It's not a vintage Mercedes. It's not a. It's not a Lexus. It's not a. It's not like. Dodge, whatever it is, Dodge Charger that turns into Busby the transforming robot. It's not the Dukes of Hazard or Starsky and Hutchmobile. It's, it's not that little cute little Fiat. It's not a, it's not a Beetle or a, or a Mini or a, it hasn't got a V8 or you know, it's just no Skoda, no star points. It's a Harley Davidson hot rod. <laughs> Hitzer, there he is, let's smack in the middle of the screen now. That's a Skoda. Now you know. And actually, that's more stylish than any Skoda car. I quite think it's quite cool looking as a as a World War II tank, but it's a shame they couldn't keep that up. Obviously, the designers fled the country. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this big tank. Now that, it's got to be an IS-2, isn't it? Or a JS-2, depending on whether you say J or I, whether you're Latin or Anglo. 
So is that not an IS-2? A Yosef Stalin II with a 122mm cannon. I mean, I'm glad that's on my gun line. That's going to nobble all those tanks when they charge again. The Nick Zerg that faces them in big ass trouble. So that means I've managed to capture the um, the point on the right. Look, it's gone green. That's why I've got the extra second tank, heavy tank uh, option in my tech tree. Me being me, I'll just want to build a big line of IST's and uh, and wait, you know, in an hour's time, finish the map with 20 of them. Yeah, creeping doom, that old tactic. But yeah, so we've got the IST's now, that's great. So um, that gun line's pretty upgraded, could do, still do some more ammunition trucks I haven't got around to them yet been too excited by I just spawned one now but I mean I've been too excited obviously by getting a an IS-2 tank I play IS-2 in War Thunder it's like my top tier tank is IS-2 and it's like a you fire one shot takes half a minute to reload but it pretty much has a good chance of destroying whenever you'd shot at just like that and what I like the, my favourite tank of World War Two, my two favourite tanks, but my favourite tank of World War Two is the IS-3, which is just such a cool-looking science fiction tank. I mean, it could be straight out of the 60s, but it's from the 40s. Uh, it doesn't see any action in the war. It's it's there for the victory parade, but it's not really in any any of the fights. But it's so cool-looking. Haven't seen one in this game yet. And uh, so that's what I went for in War Thunder. So I chose the Russian tech tree and ground, you know, all the way up to just before IS-3, before finally just giving up with the grind. I might even be able to afford it now, don't I? I'm going to do a War Thunder series at some point. I'm going to do a series of um, Eye in the Sky War Thunders. I want to... In the, uh, they have something called historical battle mode, which is where they pick battles from history and the players have to bring uh, historically apt tanks from their inventories. Um, <coughs> and it'll be Germans versus Russians or Germans versus Britain or Germans versus uh, Americans or, you know, it'll be historically, uh, historically themed. You won't just be... Normally when I play War Thunder, I bring whatever tank I've got, and so does my wingman. And so I'll be like, I'll be in a Russian tank, and he'll be in a British tank, and the enemy will be in another Russian tank, and an American tank, and, and it's a mishmash. But, so I want to do... Uh, I want to do a series on recording the, the historical battles, so that we've got, you know, a good... Uh, a good themed team. You know, um, Russians versus Germans in Poland, for example, on the Poland map. That'd be great. And uh, and I want to do Eye in the Sky. I mean, I'll play it, but I'll record it uh, and make the movie from the replay editor. And what I want to do is Eye in the Sky. I want to be um, floating around over the top of the battle and commentating like a sports commentator on, on the battle as it plays out. And from that, I'll be learning tactics on what spawns you should go for and when. Uh, uh, seeing what everybody's doing. I think that'll be good for... A, I think it'll be quite good fun to make. Um, I've seen Squad has a YouTube series called Eye in the Sky. Where this guy's just overviewing the whole battle. You know, from a bird's eye view. And commentating on it live as it's going on. Oh my god, they've shot that helicopter down with a bazooka. It's amazing. Wow, and he's doing it, and he's sort of fairly over the top in one of those American sports commentators' jobs. And I'd like to have a crack at that. So I want to do a series of War Thunder, using the replays, using the uh, recordings. It's quite a powerful tool for video making. And yeah, and do it as a sports commentary. And then, as I said, I want to, and I want to do historical battles as well because I just think they're cool. I think that's the coolest way to play. But that'll be 
I, I won't have time to do that for the end of summer. So if any of you guys are War Thunder players, come and do that with me. Come and do that. Come and record the. Uh, come and do the games with me. Play in the. Because I think I'll have to actually play in the. Um, in the battle itself as a player to get the recording. I don't think this is spectator mode. Otherwise, I'd just. I'd just do that. To be honest with you. And. Uh, so again, that's another oh, new flamethrower tank. Let's get him out of there. That's uh, an opportunity for some fun. Ah, oh, clean the trenches out. Well done, flamethrower tank. And your pay. All right, let's get these. Uh... So I've got the two IS2s resourced with fresh ammo obviously first thing I did get yeah, the big boys to never run out of their optimum shots and then we'll just get but these other tanks they're the ones that are actually going to be low on ammo they're the ones that have been shooting quite a lot since the beginning of the game having a gun line with you know 10 guns but four of them are out of anti-tank gun ammo it's missing the point so I want to keep them all topped up. Now that gun and the anti-aircraft gun that was next to it but now looks like it's been blown up. They both kept pointing, when they're left alone, they aim their guns over at the left here. In this trench system. So there must be some sneaky German hanging around in there still. But no one has spotted except them. I don't know. Right, I'm going to speed up the uh, I'm going to speed up the delivery of all these ammunition trucks, and unless some gunfight starting, I'm going to cut to I'll cut to either the next gunfight or when they've arrived. See you in a minute. See you in a couple of seconds, rather. Right, that's those two trucks delivered, and uh, just in time for the action to kick off again. Something's coming. Something wicked this way comes. Something isn't coming. Maybe it's just that one man. <laughs> Bit of an anticlimax. I was hoping for a massive invasion of suicidal stuff. All right, I'll, I was going to skip through to the next. I'll move the to the next contact. Won't be as while they resupply everyone with ammo. Well, didn't have long to wait. Maybe a 20 seconds or something less. Up there on the top right in the mini map, look. There's something up there. It's uh, is it a truck? No, it's a Puma. And he's got pinged already. Oh, that, and here comes something on the left as well. It's all hotting up. He should be in big trouble. Look, surely everyone can shoot him. There's a mortar. Might try and capture that. Another ammunition truck just loaded in. He's got to come up here. Okay, maybe they can make a base around that mortar with the ammunition truck there. Oh, look, Ronson. So these guy, whoever that is, is coming on to two JS2s. He should be in a world of trouble. Right, I'll skip forward while the anti-tank, while the infantry comes on. See you in a sec. All right, hello again. So we're a couple of minutes on. I bought, um, I bought out, you know, I've done the ammo trucks. I bought some infantry. Look, you see them in the centre of the mini map, and I bought a heavy tank. Um, I wanted to get some infantry. I've got a heavy tank to drop off. Here's my first guy trying to steal some tanks. I said we'd do some tank stealing. This is it. He's hiding in that bush, and he's going to try and steal things. And while he's there, it doesn't hurt that he's triggering lots of enemies to attack him and bring them into range of my massive amount of my wall of tanks and guys at the top right are 
eviscerating quite quickly look as they come out of that town I don't think I've got rid of the anti-aircraft gun on the other side of the water there though yet and they've made it infantry into our into our zone but they're not doing anything they can't capture it we can still make IS-2s as long as they don't so while he's repairing in there I really want to start building a lot of infantry I think it's pretty much time I'm going to fast forward until some more drama occurs oh, and, or I've got the forces necessary to charge the next line some infiltration forces you know see you in a short time all right here we go uh, three or four minutes later I finally got my sniper up here like I brought him up to the far left hand of the map uh, where I said I was going to go and try and cross and spark up some interest in, some interest in uh, do some advancing so that red area over there is my next intended target I'm just getting the sniper to scope it out, see what we're up against. And he's going to run up there, hide in this bush, and I'll use the manual control to make him... Oh, he's looking brave, look. He's going to run all the way up to here. And I've got an infantry unit behind him to back him up as well. A recon squad, probably. So what I'm worried about up here, there could be artillery, there could be, uh, you know, Nerbal Werfers, there could be um, 88 guns, there's, prob there's probably Nerbal Werfers, 88 guns, and it's point blank on any reinforcement will just pop up on the back of the map and, you know, surprise me and backstab me when I, with no warning. So I see a bazooka guy, um, I think a big cannon. Nothing. Some sort of anti tank gun, fairly big one. A significant couple of cannons. Uh, I mean, that's, that line's pretty doable, right? I mean, my JS tank could just kind of walk up and shoot that pack in the face. He did get spotted though, so we'll pull him back. Probably because he started shooting at them. So I'll put my other sniper here so he can keep an eye on that bridge crossing. Uh, so now we can see the flat pan. Uh, oh. He's done. Ah, oh, alright, so much for my sniper. Well, that's what we're up against there. I haven't seen the artillery. I mean, I know it's got to be in there. And, uh,. Both of those cannons can just be picked off by a tank with a big gun, can't they? So I'm going to send my SU-85 up there, I think. Yeah, he's in range already. He should be able to deal with that. Revenge for the sniper. You shouldn't have done it, mate. It was a mistake. Now look at you. They're going to reman that, so I might just keep blasting it. Hopefully that's sorted it out. Right, let's do one for luck. hit it now I can't even see it I send my sniper back to have a look but he's dead ah humbug and then let's have a go at this cannon too whatever that is I don't know if that's a cannon or a flat gun but whatever it is let's try and blow it up too it looks like a puma's coming across no man's land yeah he didn't survive long didn't worry about him Hit it. Oh no, that's going to be a problem. Gonna. He's a little bit exposed out there. He's put quite ahead of the line. I don't know if he's safe. There's not a very scary tank coming for him, but at the same time, I'd rather he was just sitting there picking off. All right, now he's got line of sight. Let's see what he can do. Tank's gone. You can hit the artillery. Hit the anti-aircraft gun or whatever it is. I 
and we'll work our way down the trench line and hopefully destroy that uh, anti-aircraft emplacement from behind. Somebody on it. Maybe okay. it's done. Oh, it's still alive. Let's get a better angle, boys. Run up close. All right, tanks coming in from behind. Reinforcement tanks just appeared. So these guys are in trouble. Grade it. Oh, capture it. Come on then. So you can do that. It's going to annoy the enemy, isn't it? And we've captured it. We, we own the artillery upgrades and can't be bothered. Drag artillery all the way over here. It'll take forever. What we probably can be bothered to do is to drag all the tanks up to here. And look, this is our Panther. And they've got no tank support. Here comes the Panther. We've got anti-tank grenades, got one anti-tank grenade. Alright mate, save your friends, they're going to die if you don't kill it with your one grenade. Oh no, too late. Oh no, not too late. <laughs> Line defense. Ah, oh, mate, I thought that was a complete losing scenario there. I thought it was, thought it was over. But no. And it's capture. Is it capture? Yeah, I think it might be. Alright. That went well. Let's hope. I, I haven't got any more tank grenades, but. Yeah, that went well. I'm pleased with you boys. Well done. Yeah, I'll start repairing that. Can't be that much damage. I suppose the other ones could pick up that bazooka I'm not paying attention to. Alright, it's probably time to advance the tanks. I still haven't found their artillery. I know they've got a Nurburgwerfer or, sim or something similar up there. Um, I'm not going near the right hand side because, again, that's going to have some kind of emplacement weapons that I've yet to find. I want to flush them out a bit more. But it is time just to move this entire line of tanks up and take over this side of the map. Good, anti-aircraft guns up and firing. That's what we've got to capture to win the game along with the other point. So yeah, all of you, all of you lot, that's right. Just get up the front. Charge up here. Give me a new gun line there. Don't dilly dally. You can all go up there. Not sure about this line yet. Even the mortar you can come to. If you can manually have to manually bring them out of the pit or they can't come. 
Right, yeah, so things are spawning in behind me. Look, that's the that's where the enemy spawns from. He spawns really flipping close. They're dangerous, so now at least we've got some tank support. Ah, anti-aircraft gun killed my own man. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. What's that all about? Tanks across the bridge on the right hand side. That's holding easily. Spider, pop out, shoot him. No, pop out and shoot him, not pop out and don't shoot him. Duh. That's better. I desperately want this panther, don't I? I've got all these millions of tanks behind it, I could just move forward. But no, I must have the panther. I can't resist it. <laughs> I've never had a panther before in this game. Uh, there's only one guy on that mortar. He's not going anywhere. Oh, and the aircraft gun's still alive. Who knew? Plenty of repairables here. Can't be bothered. Don't feel the need to get any more tanks. I think I've got a gazillion. So let's drag them across the water. Make like we mean to continue. Back there, yeah, that'll do. Something shooting at them. Made contact. We'll take some casualties here, especially if they use the artillery. I know they've got it. Shoot back. Overwhelming firepower. There's loads of you. A few of them. Honest. That's the I promise you that's true. Zuka squashing them and over. Crush the cannon. Definitely going for a charge crush attack. Crush him. Yes. And that's a pretty good tank crush, right? Oh, some new tanks spawned in behind. This little guy taken. Yep. Alright, let's have these guys come in as well. It's time to all in. In the big heavies.
and we capture that one so it's just that right line you capture that to win the game let's do it oh, what's he doing over here let's see if we can smash him first oh, there comes the artillery that real close At least one tank. So yeah, they did have a noble warfare. I'm kind of on top of it, but I can't see it. And we're just going to spam rush it. There's no we need to be a bit shy of our casualties now. I think we've got massively overwhelming force. Flamethrower tank. Foolish, sending that against me. Alright, that's the last square. Capture that to win. I don't know what's in there. Oh, I still haven't found the Noble Werfer. I know he's around there somewhere. The Panther's in the game. You can basically stay there and defend this base. Whatever comes up behind it. Move him out aggressively into that field. He's not shooting it up. The wolf is firing. Who's he going to kill? Can he cock someone again? Can't see any artillery there. That's what I was looking for. Spoiler alert! So the back back centre. I'm not gonna. It's not. I'm looking for it entirely the wrong place. Stuff on the road. We can bring everything from that side of the road. Trapped all spider tanks. They can come in. So I've got to hold that. That capture point from these infantry. Oh yeah, well, he's going to love doing that, isn't he? This flamethrower. That's going to smack in the centre of all of them. Flame that jeep while you're doing it. Um, you didn't find the artillery. It's a big old heavy tank. What can you find in here, in the centre of town? He's coming in from this side, they're coming in from the other side. Should be a pincer. We're pretty close to winning this. So uh, that means I earn another snack. A big boy like me needs to eat every time he wins. <clears throat> and I'm hoping you might be willing to, uh, if you're still here, well done, thank you very much. 
I'm hoping you might be willing to um, like and subscribe. Oh, that's the Nerberwurf. There it is. The Nerberwurf is right there behind these sandbag things. Alright, Panzer, you're in the tank duel. And you're losing it. <laughs> oh well. Come on, quickly, capture this. Kill them all. Thing is, like there's a never worth it right here. I drove, drove right past it, I don't know how many times. Right, thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for watching that with me, and I uh, hope to see you for the next one. Game off, and I'll see you soon.